We are to match this expression, and we are using rubula. But instead of Holberton, we are to use school instead. I'm just copying the texts so that I can create a similar expression. This is likely the most simple expression. Next task. We're creating another similar expression like this. Expression interprets that only one H, one B and one N are allowed, but T has to be from the range of two to five. Next task, we're to match this expression to the question mark character represents zero or more of. Next task, we're matching this expression by using only one line, one argument. The plus sign signifies one or more of a character. That is one or more of T. Next task. The asterisk represents zero or more of a character. In this case is T. Next task. The regular expression must be exactly matching a string that starts with H ends with N and can have any single character in between H and N. The hat operator signifies the start of a line. The dot in between H and N represents any character. The dollar sign represents end of a line. Next task. The regular expression must match a 10-digit number. Nothing more or less. Hat, backslash D, represents start of line must be a digit. 10 inside the curly braces, represent not less than 10 digits. If we add more than 10 numbers, it will capture the first 10. But what we want is to only capture digits that are only 10 in number. Now this represents, starts with a digit, only 10 digits, and must end with just 10 digits. See what happens when we take out the dollar sign. Now we don't want that. Next task. The regular expression must be only matching capital letters. This will only print out one or more block letters from a to Z. Next task. We're creating a regular expression that will print out the sender phone number or name including country code if present, the receiver phone number or name, 
including country code if present, the flags that were used in an application's log. We first copy the logs to create the expression in Rubula. We need to capture the from which is sender. We do the same for to which is receiver. And then four, flags if any. For this to work, we have to escape the square braces, if not. Rubular would only read it as one of its special characters, we use the backslash to escape. If we look at the match groups, we'll see that we have what we're trying to match. In order to print the output with comma separating them, we go to the terminal and add a tiny line of code. Add this line. Please like and subscribe. It's all in the special characters.